Imperiax Prime, the devourer of galaxies, origin explored. The 41st century warlord is one of the most powerful supervillains in the DC comics. Imperiax holds the power of the Big Bang and contains the cosmic energy in his armored suit. The mounted cannon on his chest even catches Superman off guard. Created by Jeff Lebb and Ian Churchill, Imperiax has the ability of energy projection. Along with his super speed and flying powers, he also has extendable claws. He appears in the DC comic books along with Superman Volume 2, number 153. He was the main antagonist in the R Worlds at War crossover. During a fight, when he wields powerful swords, they can fire out forceful energy waves that can deem out any superhero. Imperiax is known for his sharp, cunning personality and intelligence, which makes him one of the best villainous characters of DC. Without further ado, let's explore the Devourer of the Galaxies in more detail. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you'd like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. Trade the universe for a little girl. Tempting, but no thanks. Imperiax Prime Origins Imperiax Prime is one of the most dangerous and menacing villains of DC. He weighs 960 pounds and stands at about 6 foot 7. He had the intention to create a perfect universe while destroying the current one as he sensed imperfections in it. He was headed to the Earth to destroy it as it held the universe together. Destruction of Earth would induce a new Big Bang, thus succeeding on his mission. Mongol alerted Superman about his arrival and convinced him to fight the Imperiax and the two defeated him. But this Imperiax turned out to be nothing but a probe. In the comic Superman, and with Imperiax there shall come to an end for all, DC really captured the leader Imperiax Prime is one of the most powerful beings of the galaxy and is not that easy to battle with. He had already wiped out planets such as Karna, Kalinor, and Daxim in order to fulfill his catastrophic destiny of destruction. He has hallowed the entire galaxy in which the home of Maxima, Almarak, was also destroyed. He then went to the Milky Way galaxy and then sent several probes to combat the warriors of the galaxy. In the meantime, Earth, Apocalypse, and Brainian 13 survivors teamed up to defeat the Imperiax Prime and his probes. With Darkseid as their commander, they look for Imperiax Prime to stop him from the ultimate demolition of Earth. However, the Hallowers of Imperiax had already destroyed Kansas Topeka City while preparing for Imperiax Prime's final blow. On Earth, the ultimate plan to defend Imperiax Prime begins. President Lex Luthor conveys that Superman is not strong enough to secure the planet, so he decided to guard the Earth with superheroes, the US military, and also the military forces of other countries such as Pakalistan. Not just this, Doomsday was released and brainwashed into thinking that Imperiax Prime's probes are actually Superman. With this strategy in hand, they managed to destroy numerous probes, but to the utter shock, Imperius Prime had finally arrived. Doomsday's powers were nothing to him and were soon outmatched, only to be left with Doomsday's skeleton. Strange Visitor and General Sam Lane sacrificed themselves, which helped other forces to crack Imperiax Prime's armor, which would help his energy get back the destroyed galaxies and revive them. But Brainiac 14 absorbed Imperiax Prime's energies with an intent to rule everything. Superman has survived and dwelled in the sun in order to maximize his powers to enhance his strength. With the help of Martian Manhunter, they were able to push War World through a boom tube, thus sending the consciousness of both Brainiac and Imperiax Prime back to the Big Bang. Heroes such as Queen Hippolyta, Maxima, and Guy Gardner Steel, among others, were presumed dead, along with 8 million common people of Earth. Imperiax Prime realized that the imperfection of the universe was himself. Imp Imperiax Prime Backstory in Legion of Superheroes A futuristic supervillain from the 41st century with power rivaling that of Superman and being virtually indestructible sounds so interesting and cool. But who is he, and where did he come from? Imperiax Prime is the destroyer of galaxies, devourer of galaxies, or the simple and sweet Lord Imperiax who plays a major role as the primary villain in Legion of Superheroes for the second season. His speciality is close combat and he can fly, has superhuman stamina and durability, wields a pair of powerful swords, and has claws that extend from his knuckles. Not to forget the laser beam shooting from his chest that obliterates and disintegrates everything in his target range. But why is he so feared? Because his ability, called Entropy Manipulation, allows him to control the entropy levels of his surroundings, and that means that he has the capability to wield the power of the Big Bang itself. His act of consuming whole planets and galaxies up is terrifying, especially knowing that he could also create black holes powerful enough to suck up an entire universe. He was shown as a personification of chaos and destruction, whose sole motive from his birth was to create a new perfect universe through a series of big bangs while he destroyed each galaxy. 
There are a few origin stories surrounding him, such as his cosmic birth from the Big Bang, which allowed him to harness the energy of his birth source in its entirety, but what we are going to talk about is the one mentioned in the animated show. Imperiax is shown to be an alien slave gladiator hailing from the planet Apocalypse, whose body was technologically and genetically manipulated by a scientist named Abel, and the amalgamation of technology and biology was perfect to the extent that all of his original self was reduced to an entropic mass which he now contains within a humanoid set of armor. The 41st century saw the rise of his powers and how he conquered everything within his reach in the universe, eliminating all the forces that tried to resist him. Worried about the fate of Earth and the universe itself, while counting his inability to stop Imperiax on his own, a clone of Superman in the 41st century named Kel-El time travels back to the 31st century to ask for the help of the Legion of Superheroes who was considered the ultimate defenders of Earth. The Legion had battled with the intergalactic dictator before and brought stability to the galaxy before, but Imperiax was back again after a millennium, threatening to wipe out everything they knew to create a new perfect universe. Imperiax breaks out the Fatal Five and the Legion of Supervillains from prison and recruits them to his side. In his fight with Terra Man, he protects young Abel from being targeted and thus joins hands with Superman X, who is also known as Kel-El, and destroys him. Imperiax also has the ability to create clones and control his robot army called Destructobots, and this gives him a massive advantage against the Legion when he tries to invade the city of Kandor to steal the messenger. But this plan is foiled when Brainiac turned the sun yellow with his ancestor's knowledge and caused the Kandorians to fight against the invasion. Brainiac 5 was roped into his plans and joined hands with Imperiax at the last moment and became a perfect candidate for his entourage. When he tried to transmit this message to the Legion, he gets impaled by Brainiac 1.0. Completely hidden from the audience, he gets killed violently, much to the annoyance of Kel-El, who wanted to end the oppressor with his own hands. What makes Imperiax so deadly? Imperiax, the deadly lord of destruction, wants nothing but the demolition of the universe. His massive suit with colossal sized armor is one of the biggest advantages as it holds a drastic amount of cosmic energy. Marvel's Galactus, Devourer of the World, is similar to the Imperiax Prime, but DC's version is far more powerful. His entity is made of the energy inside a powerful suit of armor and has destroyed and recreated the universe numerous times. DC heroes, however, must save the Earth and universe from Imperiax Prime and stop the Big Bang from happening again. With an intent to create chaos and Big Bang mayhem, he is characterized as the devourer of the galaxies. His strengths are superhuman-like toughness, speed, and durability, along with his flying ability, which makes him the dark and disastrous character that he is. He also uses his swords ruthlessly in combat, as his ability as a swordsman is skilled. He is capable of creating black holes that can vanish the entire universe. The entropy power of the Big Bang lies inside Imperiax, which gives him the ability to absorb energy and probe creation. He is also capable of manipulation and could create powerful energy blasts. Doomsday was killed and vanished into thin air due to his energy blasts, which were so powerful that even Doomsday could not withstand them. Upon absorbing enough energy, his power can be deadly enough to restart the universe. So what are his weaknesses, you ask? As Imperiax Prime is an embodiment of energy, he requires a physical form to contain his energy. The energy shell is conquered, the Imperiax itself dissipates. Though it does not actually destroy or kill this dangerous villain, it's considered one of his major weaknesses. Imperiax Prime has traveled across the 41st century to rule and conquer the galaxies. In the second season of Legion of Superheroes, the character did not have cosmic energy within him. Raised in a gladiator-like lifestyle, his body was improvised and modified with technology which is an alternate origin unlike the comic books. Dark Victories Part 1 shows Imperiax being killed by Brainiac 5. The character is likely to be appearing in the games as well. In the episode Marooned in Legends of Tomorrow, Rip Hunter mentions Imperiax Prime when Mick Rory, Jefferson Jacks, and Professor Stein are being held captive. Imperiax Prime's appearance was seen in Injustice as a continuity of his hatred of Superman. An alternate appearance of the character was seen in Justice League Gods and Monsters. Forever People's experiment caused Dr. Psycho to evolve into a purple armored giant. Imperiax Prime was eventually defeated as the Justice League heroes destroyed his armor. This resulted in Dr. Psycho being desperate to be terminated by Wonder Woman. Marvel's Galactus has achieved similar characteristics as Imperiax. Let's dwell on the similarities, shall we? Galactus does hold a long history in battles with other villains such as Odin and Thanos, among other Marvel characters. He too destroyed galaxies and resurrected the dead. Imperiax has been able to fight DC's best heroes and villains. He went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman and vaporized Doomsday with an energy blast. Being immortal and immeasurably strong, both characters are incredibly dominant and capable 
capable of mass destruction. But when it comes to the ability to recreate the universe, he puts Galactus's powers to shame. Though both the characters bring unimaginable powers compared to human standards, Imperiax pulls ahead in the battle due to his capability of doing what Galactus attempts to do only one time. We start the Big Bang. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone. You're about to become an only child.